Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. And you're probably wondering, how do I figure out the Nutrition Facts label? Well, I'm here to give you a couple hints and tips on how to really navigate that information. First and foremost, look at the serving size. If you don't know the serving size in the Nutrition Facts label, the rest of the numbers below will really make no sense. And be aware that just because the food is packaged in one package, for instance, a bottle of soda, doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually one serving. For instance, that bottle of soda, the little 16 ounce or something, has two and a half servings in that one container. So like I said, be aware and definitely check the serving size first. After that, you can check the servings per container, because that way if you know you're going to be eating the whole thing or drinking the whole thing, you have enough to actually multiply those numbers below to really figure out what you've consumed. So next, you're probably going to look at the calories. Now, looking at the calories can really depend on how much of that food is going to be for the day, if it's just a snack or if it's a big part of your meal. And really, that's all going to depend on how many calories your body needs. Typically, an easy average is about 25 calories per kilogram of body weight. Now again, that's just an average. There are much sci more scientific formulas out there to really find our basal energy needs. So again, just a well-rounded um, guesstimate there. So look at the serving size, then check your calories. Make sure to look at the total fat. Try to avoid saturated and trans fat. You want this number to be zero or as small as possible. Then go down and look at your carbohydrates and proteins. These are the other sources of calories we have from our diet. Look for things high in fiber. A good source of fiber is more than two grams per serving. And if you can get five grams per serving, that's an excellent source. And having a high fiber diet really has been proven for health benefits, as well as keeping your bowel movements regular. Also keep in mind to look at the ingredients label below the nutrition facts. Try to avoid things that say high fructose corn syrup or pure sugar or cane sugar or anything that says hydrogenized or, hydro or hydrogenized, excuse me. That just means that there's added fats and added sugars, which ultimately can mean added calories. And the higher those types of foods are in that list of ingredients, that really means there's more of that product in there. So if sugar is ingredient number one or two, you really probably know the nutrients or calories that you're getting from that product really are nothing more than pure simplified sugar. So those are just a couple tips, excuse me, a couple tips. Make sure you're checking serving size, serving per container, avoiding the saturated and trans fat, looking at high fiber products, and also in incorporating reading the ingredients label. Hopefully that'll help you out when you hit the grocery store. I'm Charlotte and eat happy.